I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Let's talk about some lesser-known mystery novels and novelists. You know, on BookTube, I've noticed most every BookTuber out there just focuses on reviewing the hot new books that are out there, the young adult novels, the big fantasy series. That's not the that's not the that's not the direction my channel is going to take. Yes, I will review a lot of that stuff because I love it, but I'm also going to try to introduce you guys to some stuff that you might not have heard of. Because if you, especially those of you that want to be writers, those of you that are watching my channel for writing advice and things like that, you've got to branch out of that young adult fantasy teen fiction part of the bookstore. You got to get away from the science fiction fantasy part of the bookstore. And you got to start reading a lot of other stuff. Because that's where you really learn the craft of writing is by reading how thrillers are written, mystery novels are written, historical fiction is written, romances are written. You need to learn how to write all of this stuff and study all of it. So you're going to get, it might not be the most popular videos that I put up some of these more obscure book reviews, <clears throat> but I ain't going to stop me from doing them, all right? Because I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm document. I've got a library of 3,000 or more books upstairs, and my goal is to document on YouTube a book review for each one of them. And some of them are going to be lesser-known books that I love, like Dana Stabenow's Kate Shugak Mysteries Set Up in Alaska. When I was young, when I was really young, I grew up in Alaska. I, mean, I talk a lot about Sevier County, Utah, how I grew up there. Well, I went to high school in Sevier County, Utah. I grew up mostly in Fairbanks, Alaska. So I have been collecting these Dana Stabenow mysteries for a long time. They started, She started writing them in the late 80s or early 90s. These are her latest ones. This is the whole series. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. This is book one. A Cold Day for Murder. I just reread it. I'm going to start rereading some of these, and I'll probably be leaving reviews of them as we go. Like I said, 3,000 books, people. I got a lot of book reviews to put up on YouTube. Cold Day for Murder, set in Alaska. It's not one of your most well-known mystery series. Not one of your most well-known mystery novelists. But she has won accolades, you know. And she is well known in the mystery circle. And she's written a lot of this. I mean, this is this Kate Shugak mystery series has got like about 20 books in it at this point. And it's great. I love it. Who is Kate Shugak? Well, she's a policeman in Alaska who, you know, murders happen and she investigates them as a murder mystery series, you know? You know, you got your murder mystery, you got your cozy English murder mysteries, you got your you got your Dennis Lehane mystery set in Boston, you got your Michael Connolly mystery set down in, in Harry Bosch land in Hollywood, and, you, and then you got your uh, Tony Hillerman mysteries set, you know, in uh, Arizona and the Navajo Tribal Police, and then you've got, you know, everywhere. You got mysteries set all over the world, and then you've got the ones set in Alaska, which I appreciate because I grew up in Fairbanks, and Dana Stabenow also lives in Alaska, and so she gets all the Alaska lore and atmosphere. Sets it up great. Love it, love it. Fantastic stuff. So Kate Shugak is a native Alaskan, not an Eskimo. There's a difference between native Alaskans and Eskimos. You know, they're, 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 uh, they're native Alaskans, Indians, different from the Eskimos. Kate Shugak is a native Alaskan. She's been a police officer. She's been through some rough things. When, we, when we're introduced to her, we're introduced to her right after she was attacked by a child molester. And the child molester tried to murder her. And, she, and the child molester stabbed her up a lot. And so we've got a very injured, injured person who's coming off of some horrific things. And, 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 and that's how we get to know her at the beginning. And one of the things about Kate Shugak is, man, she's a... Fiery, fiery little policeman. She's awesome. She's great. She doesn't, I mean, she doesn't take crap from anybody. She lives in the Alaskan wilderness all by herself with her dog, Mutt, 
who's an awesome little husky, an Alaskan husky. Just great. Oh, I love it. I love that she takes her dog with her everywhere where she goes to investigate things. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. One of the things is, is Dana Stabenow now nails the Alaskan. I mean, she talk, she names everything the original Native, um, Native Alaskan language that's spoken like I was reading these books and I was rereading them and I was like the Can Kaniuk River. She talks about the Kaniuk River and I'm like, what river is that? I lived in, I know a lot of Alaskan rivers and I've never heard of the Kaniuk River. So I Googled it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the Copper River. I've been on the Copper River. Oh, you don't want to be near the Copper River. It is bad place. I mean, if there's one river on the planet that you do not want to fall into it's the copper river or the kaniuk river as the native alaskans call it this river is formed from the glacial ice and it comes racing down for 250 miles through the alaskan wilderness and it's race i mean this is the gnarliest most silt filled river i mean i've been there and you can look across this vast expanse of river that's just rushing by at like 50 miles an hour with just waves and whirlpools and just bubble things bubbling up and it's just not if you fall into it the silt will fill will just sink you to the bottom you have there's zero survivability and i've been on this river in tiny fishing boats with my father and we've salmon fished this river where we tie ourselves to the shore because and then there's cliffs and there's jagged cliffs and it's just crazy. There's jagged cliffs. I've got some. I should put some of these videos on YouTube actually because I've got a lot of videos of us on this river, and uh, the Copper River that you tie yourself and you salmon fish and you take your net. If you're in Alaska, if you're a native, if you if you live in Alaska, you can just take a net. If you're not an Alaskan, you have to use a fishing pole. But Alaskans, you can just take a net and scoop the salmon right out of. And the Copper River salmon are the best salmon in the world. It's known. It's it's well documented, because the Copper River is a place that is just you don't want to be. It is dangerous. The most dangerous place on the earth. And I can't believe my father even took me there, as a kid. But he did. Memories I will never forget. And Dana Staben now knows all that, and she puts that in the book. And the Quillac Mountains. I was like, what the Quillac? I've never heard of that mountain range. Well, it's the native the native name for the Wrangell Mountains. And, and, you know, she gets it. So what happens in this book called Day for Murder? We've got a, a park ranger who goes missing in Alaska. And my gosh, you do not want to go missing in Alaska because you are done. You are toast. If you've ever, if you've read um, Into the Wild, you know you just don't wander off into Alaska. Even if you're a park ranger, just don't do it. And so that's the mystery she's got to solve. So Kate Shugak has to find out what happened to the park ranger that went missing. I know just as being, uh, having grown up in Alaska, that that mystery ain't going to be resolved in a pleasant way at all. Because when you go missing in Alaska, uh, there's no finding you. Alive. May or may not be a spoiler for this book. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I love these Kate Shugak mysteries. I'm rereading them all now. I just love the first one, and they get better and better and better. And we get to know Mutt. We get to know the policeman, Kate Shugak. We get to know Mutt, her dog, and they go off on adventures. Oh, it's in Alaska. Ah, you learn all, so much about Alaska by reading these. Cold Day for Murder. I give it a solid 7.5 out of 10.